in Lisp language, car and coder are actually the same as the head and tail of something. And what that means is, uh, I mean, don't worry about what CAR stands for. It is something to do with the old assembly kind of code. And they used to have like some kind of a register address or something is what it is. But it basically means if you have a list of elements like this, so this is equivalent to an array of four character uh, strings. And car would give you just rows out of this. And CUDA will give you violet daisy buttercup as an array like this. That's what CUDA will give you. So we have the same function. Now you could have said head and it's the same thing as car. It's the same thing as that. Now if you said scooter, it'll give you the tail of it. So one to hundred means the tail will be starting from the second element onwards. So that's the difference between car and coder. In list there are a lot more like CDDR and stuff like that. It's just a uh, it's just basically every combination like this. We haven't implemented all of these. But the idea is that we have car and coder and that is equivalent to head and tail. And tail will be an array, uh, not a single element. But head is a single element. That's the difference. And you can see that single element doesn't have any dark thing around it. It's not a table. So that's what car encoder are. And uh, you did a 1 to 10. And a dot any, five of them gave you some arbitrary number. And that is right. Now, every time you press this, it's going to pick out of this A1 to 10, it's going to pick any five of them randomly. And that's just totally random. And uh, I think there are other functions like sum and so forth that will give you these arbitrary set of numbers to work with. 